Well, hello there. Welcome to another video, y'all. Uh, today we are going to be talking more about I squared C. And I squared C is really cool because you can control a device with just two lines of two input lines to the Arduino using two of the pens here. Um, and you can conceivably control, I think, up to 127 devices with one Arduino. Uh, that's the theoretical limit anyways, because there are 127 different addresses there that can be used. So uh, we're going to look at connecting multiple I2C devices to one Arduino right now. And by multiple, I mean two. We're going to start off with just two. Um, for this little experiment, we're going to be using this um, 16 by 2 I squared C enabled LCD display. And we're also going to be using this little 128 by 64 OLED display. Uh, they both have their, they both have jumpers already connected to them. And this has the four, four wires here. This has four wires in both cases. Uh, the the black and red are ground and power here brown and red are ground and power here and then the other two lines are the I squared C lines uh, we're also going to need an Uno of course or an Arduino of some sort and then uh, we have two 10k value resistors that we're going to need as pull up resistors and then we have a couple more jumper wires here to go from the Arduino to the uh, breadboard where we're going to make the connections. So um, let's go ahead and make some connections. First, we'll start off with getting power from the Arduino over to the breadboard. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sometimes I got to count, make sure I get the right one. All right, so we got our five volts there, and then we'll grab a ground here, and now our power rail is good to go. All this rail has uh, ground and and five volts DC on it, and uh, now we'll go ahead and connect the power lines for each one of these devices here. That one and ground and power. Okay, so now both of these devices have power. Make sure I got everything in frame here. There we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring um, we're going to bring SDA and SCL from the Arduino here over to the breadboard and we're going to use yellow for SDA blue for SCL so yellow SDA and we'll put it right we'll put it right here and then we'll do blue for SCL and we'll just throw that right here all right, so we're supposed to use a pull-up resistor for each one of these lines whenever we're connecting multiple devices. And I won't pretend like I know exactly what that's doing, but the idea, as far as I can understand, not being an engineer, is when there's no signal on the, on the line, on the I2C interface line, then the line will be pulled high by these resistors or by the uh, the five volts going to these resistors. So we're connecting each one of these resistors up to five volts DC. Okay, and that's kind of messy, but that should work. There we go. So now, the pull-up resistors are in place. So th the idea is when there's a signal on the line, 
then um, the, the, the five volts won't be involved because there will be a signal on the line. But in the absence of a signal, uh, both of these lines will be pulled high. So that's the way I understand it anyways. So let's finish off, uh, let's finish this off. So, and let me go ahead and pull up, I'm gonna pull up the monitor here. I'm gonna upload this um, I squared C monitor that tells you the addresses of the devices that are on, that are on your uh, I squared C line. And then you just go to serial monitor and it's polling as you can see here and it says no i squared c devices found all right so and then i also have everything written out like the colors for each one of the devices so i'm going to connect up the 128 by 64 yellow going to sda so that's going to be yellow to yellow and then blue i'm sorry the orange is going to go over here to this side all right, so now we should have, if we look at our monitor now, then we see device found at 0x3c. So that's the address of this little screen here. And then we need to connect the 16 by 2. Uh, in this case, they're kind of, it's a little messed up. I didn't plan my colors out. Blue is SDA. Okay, so that's going to go to the yellow side coming off the Arduino because that's SDA there. And then this goes to the other one. So as soon as I plug this in, then we should see two devices show up on our monitor. And there they are. Uh, it's got 0x27 and 0x3c showing up there. So if you notice, all this is in parallel, right? The, the pull-up resistors um, and then everything all all three things on this line including the arduino master and then the two devices they're all, everything's in parallel so in according to this serial monitor it looks like it's reading the address if it's reading the address i'm assuming it's going to work but let me show you this sketch that i have here this is the uh ssd 1306 little example sketch that comes with the library for this display and so I opened that up and I included the liquid crystal display um, header here to include the liquid crystal I squared C library and then the other thing I had to do I added the liquid crystal I squared C address right here and the uh, par other parameters there and then the other thing that I added was I just did a copy and paste from the LCD example, the Hello World example, and I threw it in right here. So it's got like the initialization and the Hello World. So what we hope to see whenever we upload this sketch is we hope to see it upload and then we should see uh, Hello World here if this is working. And then we should see the little graphics uh, example routine running on the small um, 128 by 64 so let me go ahead and upload that sketch because it does take a minute like it takes a good 20 seconds to upload this sketch it is using 64 percent of the program storage space as it says there but man it takes a minute or 20 30 seconds but hopefully we'll see hello world here and then we'll see this other little screen start up And that's what we see. We have Hello World here. And then this little guy is running through its paces. So um, we've successfully connected additional, like, uh, not additional, multiple I squared C devices on the same line. And the reason this came up for me was I wanted to use actually an, a real time clock module that runs on I squared C along with the 16 by 2 module and I realized I hey I never used two I squared C devices simultaneously before so I wanted to try it out with uh, some items that I knew some devices that I knew uh, that I'd used before and now I see it works so now uh, 
for the next video, I'll probably be working with a real-time clock in, ad in addition with this module here. So, good. Hope that makes sense, guys, uh, as far as all the wiring goes. Should be pretty straightforward, though. Hope y'all got a little something out of this video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.